Hello, Virgo. Remember that this is a general reading. Uh, I do ask that everyone receives at least one message in this reading. So let's go ahead and get started. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards so that they are ready to go. Let's see if we can get those lined up. One, two, two. And I'm going to pull one final card from the e-deck and we will put that off to the side. So let's see here what they're telling us to help us. Okay, so I'm getting, typically with spreads, you know you'll have a past, present, future. What I'm getting is this card, they are talking about the immediate past. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So when you look at this card, this is the thinking man. He is staring at a piece of crystal. What I'm getting is that they're talking about with this card that this is the immediate past, that in the most immediate past, many of you have actually been spending that time contemplating. You've been in a state of, you know, consideration, reflection, really trying to think about what it is that you truly desire spiritually, mentally, emotionally. I get that a lot of they're commending you because a lot of you have had to do a lot of releasing work, a lot of healing work, and, and they're really commending you because you've done a great job with that. And, and they're also commending you because you have got the point that you're done thinking. So they're saying this card is your immediate past. So you've thought about, you know, do I, do I want to get a new job. And if I get a new job, what would that new job be? What would it consist of? What do I truly desire? For some of you, I'm getting, you've been thinking about um, a romantic partner. You know, do I want to be with this person? And some of you have been contemplating between two, you know, who, who should I, you know, be with? And I'm getting for most of you, it, it, it's, it's been a lot to do with either romantic partnerships, or jobs, but they are again commending you because you have, you, you, you finished the thinking, the contemplation, the really, you know, doing those T charts and everything, decide, you know, what do I really want? What's going to make me happy? What's going to bring me my bliss? And they, they are congratulating you because you finished that and it's now time for you to act. What they want you to know is it's time to act on everything that you've thought through because you've, you, you've got that, everything's crystal clear. You've got the clarity of what you desire but now it's time, and they're again saying this is immediate past, so now it's time for you to move forward on that. Next card, and this is walking away. And what you'll see in this card is you, you see a lady, she's, she's walking away, she's closing the gate behind her, and she's walking into this misty, unknown future. And what they're trying to say with this is that, you know, it's time to walk away from that existing situation. Because I get for a lot of you, it's time for you to make that decision. You've done all the thinking and you've been thinking about what it is that you want to be done with. Do you want to be done with that job? Do you want to be done with that romantic partner? Do you want to be done with that career? Or even for some of you, it was like um, a long-term goal. Like for some, I'm getting that, you know, giving up addictions. So what I'm getting for you to finally walk away and I get the thing that's been holding some of you back because again, I do get that they're really congratulating because most of you have, have done all your release work and, and I get that they're commending that, congratulating that. Um, but I do get there are still a very small number of you where, you know, you're still holding on to that situation because it's, it's familiar to you. But what they're wanting you to know is that it's time for you to look ahead at the road that's open. I mean, they have removed all the blocks for you. Everything's open. It's, it's really time for you to move forward because your new beginning, your dreams are at hand. So what they're encouraging you to do is let, let go of that old habit. For some of you, I, I do get for a small number, it is, it's like a habit. It's like an addiction to something. For some of you, maybe behavior, certain behaviors that you, know, you look at as you know, a negative pattern that you know it is time for you to release that and move forward into healthier ways of living and i get for some of you it is um releasing that job you know you, you've thought about changing careers you're not happy where you're at and you thought about change it's just you're like afraid to step away into something new and they want you to know not be afraid success awaits you on the other side and the same thing i get for a number of you it's romantic partnerships um you finally finished you know your contemplation of do i stay in this relationship do i not for some of you, I get it's, you know, you were trying to decide between two people. Do I go with this person or not? And, and I get for some of you, because it's familiarity, and I get the largest number if it's somebody that you're, you're with or you've been with, that, you know, you know in your heart, you've made the decision, you finished thinking, you know that um, that person's not meant for you, that there's something better. 
they want you to know that it, you're safe it's okay it's time for you to, to walk away they've got something better waiting for you your bliss awaits so um because i'm getting that there's not anything else holding you back they've completely cleared the path so the next card this is patience and when you look at this, you'll see an angel, you know, she's holding a clock. She's standing there in the middle of winter. She's just very peaceful as she's standing there. And what I'm getting is that for many of you, you need to be, you know, patient. Because I, I get that, you know, the past two months, you've been doing all this clearing and releasing, you know, you've decided, okay, I want that new job. Okay, I don't want to be with this person because they don't make me happy. And you know what, I'm going to change my eating habits and I'm going to give up those addictions. And then now it's almost like you're just sitting there wondering why aren't your dreams coming to fruition. And it's almost kind of getting to a place of like desperation because you're now to the point where you're almost wanting to force those things to happen because you're like, okay, I've done everything I'm supposed to. Let's make this happen. And, and what I'm getting for those of you in that situation, you're blocking those things from coming in. And what they want you to know is to release that anxiety, release that stress. They want you to be just patient, relaxed, open to everything they're bringing, for, bringing to you. And what they're saying is it, it's a matter of divine timing. So I'm getting that although you're ready for that new job, you've made the decision, you're ready to move forward it's not ready yet. Maybe that person that's in the position you're going to take hasn't vacated yet. Or maybe you're looking at starting a business, but the person you're going to partner with hasn't decided to leave their job yet. Maybe they're one of these people just hanging on the edge, you know, wanting to leave their job and start a business venture, but they haven't yet. And that's going to be your partner, start your business. I'm getting for some of you in like romantic relationships, you know, you've walked away from the partner that wasn't meant for you and you're waiting for that person, but the person you're going to be with, they haven't yet then they're walking away. So um, I'm getting it's, it's divine timing. They're, they're saying that it's puzzle pieces, that all the puzzle pieces have to fit together. And you are nearing the end of your puzzle pieces fitting together. And they're just saying, just have patience. It's, it's, a, it's a sure bet, sure thing. You just need to have patience and know that they are answering your prayers and those things are going to happen. So don't cause yourself any blocks by getting stressed out, getting worried. Just have patience. God's got it. Just finishing up those final puzzle pieces on the other end, just bringing everything else in. And it is, I am getting it, it's just divine timing. That's all. And just be patient because it is going to be happening very soon. Okay, next card we have is summer. Uh, now, if you read the bottom, everything that you're asking for becomes yours in the summertime. What they're saying is you, you thought about what you truly desire, what you truly want. And this card is a reassurance for you that you are going to get those things. Your wishes are going to be coming true. They have heard your prayers. Again, they're saying this is coming back to divine timing. I do get that there's a number of you that are out there that are just impatient. You're just ready for it to happen. Yeah, you've been doing a lot of clearing, a lot of releasing. You've been letting go of those old patterns, those um, habits that weren't healthy for you. You've been letting go of those r romantic partners that you knew were not meant for you, that were not good for you. You've been cleaning up and closing up and tidying things up in your career, your current position, so that you can move forward into the new career, the new job, the new business venture. So you're there, you're ready to go in it. And I just get that you're just really impatient. And again, they're wanting you to know that your prayers have been heard. They are being answered. They are coming to you. So everything you desire is coming. Just be patient. Next card we have is business venture. And at the bottom it says trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. Now I do get for some of you that you are looking to start your own business. And, and then for others, you're, you're seeking a career change. And I'm getting that whichever side you're on, it will be successful. And what they're saying is to just follow your intuition. Because I'm getting for some of you that, that you're going to receive a, a job offer, you're going to receive a promotion. I'm getting for a small number of you that you're going to come in contact with someone that will be a business part partner for you to start this business venture that you're thinking of. And for a small number of you, that you know you've been wanting to change careers you just haven't taken that leap of faith i get that you are going to take that leap of faith you are going to act you know you've laid the foundation you've done the prayers you've done the meditation you've done the releasing act on what it is you desire so that it can fall into place so that all these they just said so all these puzzle pieces can fall into place so you know this may be for some of you where you know you're actually going to finally let that job go and move forward 
and the um, new career at and actually, I'm getting for some of you, you've even got a, a business idea that may come up, that, but you've not been able to think of that new business idea because you're terrified of leaving the position you're comfortable in. So, and if you are getting those intuitive nudges to make that career change, and, and, you, and if you're one of those people that does get that new job offer, pray about it, meditate about it, and, and take some action toward it, and it will be successful for you. Next card we have here is joy and the bottom of it says by enjoying this moment I am giving thanks to God for my life I'm getting it's almost like the capstone we've done all this work so much preparation so much releasing so much healing letting so much stuff go people go things go jobs go and and this is the capstone where it, it, it we're finally going to be you know moving forward this capstone we're going to be it's we're going to finally be moving forward into bringing those dreams that we so desire into fruition and they're saying be happy and for some of you that are still you know apprehensive you know um and i do get it's a small number because i get most of you have done your work because they do keep congratulating you and and what they're saying for those of you that have move forward on it and for those of you you know that are impatient <laughs> they're saying just stay patient it will come to you you know it's divine timing stay focused stay positive stay patient and i do get for some of the the smaller number of you where you're not necessarily in a joyful state because you're holding on to things that are familiar let that all go it is safe you can just walk away from that and if you are having a, a struggle finding a place of joy ask pray pray for some help because if you can stay present in joy now, that will bring even more joy into your life. And for those of you that are out there that, you know, no, it's a sure deal. I'm definitely gonna have this career change. I am definitely gonna have that romantic partner. I've done my work, just waiting for divine timing to fall into place. Let your joy shine because I, I get that you are gonna be able to help lift up and inspire those that just haven't taken the leap yet. So you can help them as well. And, and so what I'm getting is that your current situation, question, concern can completely resolve itself by you choosing the path of joy. And, you know, for those of you that are, you know, still hesitant to take the leap, remember what it was that you were thinking about. You know, when you were contemplating what will bring my heart, soul more joy and act on it. So this is a joy for all these things. They're just, you know, culminating to that point of bringing it all into fruition for you. So stay in a place of joy and you'll watch it unfold. Now this deck is kind of fun. This Oracle of E deck, it's kind of sassy. And I'm actually gonna have to open their guidebook and read this because it's a brand new deck. And obviously there's no artistry on it to uh, give us any clues there. So we've got the bunny hop jive. And when you read it, it says, whoever said you had to do it alone. It's tea time for two. Friendships, partnerships, even party ships are bounding your way. It's time to join hands and do-si-do -si -do with your sisters and bros. Togetherness brings miracles now. And getting this comes back to, you know how they were just saying, for those of you that have found your joyful place, that no, it's just a divine timing thing to share that joy because you're gonna help lift up others. They're also saying this isn't a time to go through it alone. There's some of you that are waiting still to meet that business partner that you're gonna move forward with. There's some of you who are going through the emotions of finally stepping away and stepping in through that fear to find that romantic partner you desire, stepping through that fear and concern about you know switching careers. Um, because when you've been in a career for years and you've got that stability, it, it can be frightful to take a big change and leap to follow your heart's desires. So I'm getting that you would benefit by spending some time with friends go have coffee with friends go have dinner with friends kind of share what you're thinking and feeling for some of you it will lead to a business venture a partnership for some of you it may even lead to a new career change because they may know of you know you're you've made the decision okay i want to switch careers i want to go down this path you may go have lunch with a friend that says oh my gosh i just heard about a job that's open that's perfect for you so you, you don't have to go alone spend time with friends it is all about being with others and, uh, and what I'm getting is that that will help a number of you. And I get that some of you are having, 
get that some of you are having questions about relationships still. I know I'm trying to get them to give me some more information on that. Give us some more clarity. Oh, okay. So I'm getting some of you, there's a small number of you that, that are afraid so that you've you've walked away or you are in the process of walking away uh, from a toxic relationship that you've been in for a while. Person's deceitful, lying, cheating. And so you are, you've either just in the recent past or you are finally walking away. And, or for some of you, you left a toxic relationship in the you know recent past or, or even some of you may have been a little bit more distant but i'm getting for some of you, you you were in a really toxic relationship it really hurts you and you're afraid to move into that next relationship and what they want you to know that it's safe it's safe for you to move into that partnership that romantic relationship with someone that you can let your fear go that you don't need to be what he says you don't need to be alone and you will find bliss and happiness with that other person and, and it's safe for you to trust that person they, they just said that person's trustworthy so um again coming back to uh being with others experiencing joy and, and again for most of you those of you where you're just waiting it's all set just just have a little patience and stay in a place of joy and have fun while you're waiting for the things that you have prayed for to uh come to fruition because it is a sure deal it is going to happen safe bet so filled with lots of love joy and blessings